Hi, I'm Johnny Shannon, Senior Geospatial Software Engineer at Stirling Geo. One of the questions I'm asked most frequently when I'm out and about seeing clients, whether consulting or training, whatever, is how do you convert AOIs, area of interest, to shapefiles, or shapefiles to AOIs, or annotation to shapefiles? Well, the answer is that it's really simple, but not necessarily entirely intuitive. So I'm just going to show you how it's done. Uh, let's load up some imagery to start with. We've got some Landsat 8 imagery over the southwest of England. Let's just change that so that the uh, vegetation looks good. There we go. And zoom in here to Bodmin Moor. OK, I'm just going to open a shapefile as well. Um, oh, zoomed out again. Let's just zoom back in. There we go. So you can see that uh, the shapefile has uh, delineated one of the water features around here. Um, we want to collect some of the other water features as well. And for the purposes of this exercise, I'm going to use AOIs, areas of interest, in order to do that. Let's uh, just move that shapefile away for a second, put it in another viewer. I'm going to come back to you later and we can remove it from the left hand viewer. Perfect. Okay, so in order to collect these water bodies, I'm going to use uh, the Grow tool. And so the first thing we want to do is go to the Drawing tab and then click on the Grow drop down and click on Growing Properties. Don't want to go too deeply into this, but because Landsat 8 is 16 bit data, I found that a value of the some say spectral Euclidean distance, some say similarity um, function here is 2500, so I'm happy using that. I can now click on Grow, and I can use the Lock tool to keep the Grow tool open, and now I can just start collecting these uh, other water bodies. The Grow tool works very similarly to the uh, magic wand that we see in PaintShop Pro or Photoshop, and it really does make collecting things like water bodies very, very simple indeed. Incidentally, it's also good if you to uh, collect buildings and uh, features such as that when doing classifications. OK, that's enough of those. Um, let's close the region growing box. I'm going to be adding... Um, oh, let's take the lock off as well and go back to select. Excellent. Um, I'm going to be adding these into the shapefile. So the first thing I need to do is to enable editing. OK, that's good. And now back over here, I can select all those AOIs I've just uh, created by a box. There we go. And then over on the left hand side of the drawing tab we've got copy. That's 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 fine. Um, and now we want to select the other viewer. But we don't want to use this paste button. What we want to use is the one that's skulking just next door to it, which we hover over, is paste from selected object. And so if we use that button then there we go. All the AOIs we've got selected in the left-hand window have been transferred to the shapefile in the right-hand window. OK, let's just get rid of that area of interest now. We're done with that. We don't really want to save changes. Let's drag the shapefile back in. We can make it a bit more watery. There we go. And so that's how we can uh, convert from AOIs. That works both ways. Uh, the one thing you have to remember is to uh, make sure that you use the paste from selected object. OK, hope that's useful, and uh, I'll be back again shortly with some more tips and tricks.